Here is an Uzi style electric gel ball blaster from the brand SRCOOAT. So SRCOOAT, this is their Uzi style gel ball blaster. So we're just gonna do a little unboxing here, then we'll do a setup video, and then we'll do a demonstration. And this one has some glow in the dark gel beads, so that'll be pretty cool to see. So you got this nice little pamphlet here that's gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to do everything. I'm gonna talk about all these things, but you'll be able to reference this in case you need to. Okay, that's your manual that comes in there. So let's check out what you get with this. Okay, we'll save the main blaster part till the end. Let's look at some of the contents. So you get your grenade style hopper. This is very common for these uh, top loading gel blasters here um, in the United States. The majority of uh, gel blasters are gonna be a gravity fed top loader like this. So that's what this is. This is what connects your hopper, your grenade hopper to the blaster. And again, we'll put that together in the setup video. Of course, we've got your eye protection, which is always important to wear some sort of eye protection, whether it's these or sunglasses or goggles, whatever you have, just wear something. You don't wanna take one of these into the eye. You've got your little muzzle slash barrel extension that's gonna go on the end and a little clip that's gonna go on there as well. Of course, these are optional. You don't have to turn, put them on. And then we get some gel beads. So you get a couple packs of gel beads. These are each 5,000, okay? And then they give you a couple extra packs of glow-in-the-dark gel beads. So that's what these ones are. Um, I think they're each only a couple hundred based on them, but I've got them soaking right now so that I can show you those later when we do a demonstration. All right, so that's cool to give you those gel beads. And again, we'll go over how to soak them um, in the next video. So you got your battery here in your charger. Actually put a little ribbon on your battery to make it easier to get in and out of the uh, blaster, which is a smart idea. Your battery is one of these four pin batteries, okay? And your charger just plugs into any AC adapter. It's a USB charger, any AC adapter. It'll be a red light will be on when it's charging and then that red light will turn off when it is full, okay? Probably takes about one to two hours to charge the battery depending on how it is. Now here's a little magazine. So what this is intended for is to put in spare gel beads or gel balls that are ready to go so that you have additional ones with you. So that is just gonna slide open and then you're gonna be able to put your gel beads in here, okay? So once you've got them all ready, you can put them in here, you can load them in your blaster so you have some backups for when your grenade hopper runs out. Now let's check out the actual blaster itself, okay? Looking at it, we can see that's where your connection for your hopper is going to go, obviously. You've got the ability to put down this little short stock, which is kind of cool. Your on-off button's right here, that's also going to function kind of as your safety. This is where your battery goes in this one, okay? Obviously, we've got your trigger here, and then the magazine will slide in here, okay? Again, we'll go over a lot of this in the setup video when we get it ready to go as well. So, pretty cool looking Uzi Blaster. I like the color scheme, um, and it's just cool to have that Uzi style. This is a newer style that um, is not as out there as much as some of the others for the gel ball blasters. So again, the brand, S-R-C-O-O-A-T, and this is their electric gel ball blaster, Uzi, and I guess so we'd call this the blue smoke style. Uh, that's what I guess I'd call that graphic. So check back, we'll do a setup video, we'll get this set up and ready to go. And then of course we'll do a demonstration video and we'll test the FPS too.